Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this morning's Haver Bites. I'm Miss Emily. And as all of you are probably aware already, tomorrow we're getting a new president here in the United States. So today I thought it would be really fun to read a silly book about becoming president. So I hope you'll join me for The President of the Jungle. This is written by Andre Rodriguez, Larissa Ribeiro, Paulo de Salgudo, and Pedro Marcoon. So, The President of the Jungle. Lion wanted a swimming pool. So, because he was king of the jungle, he rerouted the river to flow into his front yard. Now he had his pool. The other animals were not happy. They missed their river. Lion had gone too far. Maybe he should not be king of the jungle. Monkey says, it's ridiculous. Lion thinks only of himself. What if we have a new leader? The animals decided to have a demonstration. They marched to Lion's swimming pool to protest. Ostrich says, water is for everyone. Elephant says, say no to the lion's pool. Bunny over here says, give back our river. But lion couldn't care less what they thought. So the animals decided it was time for a new leader. Alligator says, no more kings. Owl says, let's be a democracy. Let's hold an election. Sloth wants to know, what's an election? Owl says, in an election, anyone who wants to be the leader can become a candidate and put together a campaign. Each animal gets to vote for the leader. The candidate who gets the most votes becomes president. Everyone liked the idea, so they drew up rules for the election. So here we go. Here's their rule. Here's the excuse me. Here are their rules for election. Number one, we will hold an election every spring. Number two, any animal can be a candidate. Number three, each animal gets one vote. Number four, votes are secret. Number five, the candidate with the most votes wins. Number six, candidates cannot trade gifts for votes. Number seven, candidates cannot eat their opponents. That's a silly rule, but very important. Monkey, sloth, and snake were excited to become candidates. Lion didn't want to be left out, so he became a candidate too. Then the campaigns began. So here's Lion's poster. King of the jungle, vote for lion. And his vice president is gonna be lioness. So lion says, my beloved subjects, I descend from a long line of kings. It was my cherished great great grandfather who expelled the smelly possums so the rest of us could live in peace. I provided jobs to the animals who diverted the water from the river to build my swimming pool. If something is not broken, do not fix it. For tradition, Vote for Lion. Oh, now here's Monkey's poster. Monkey's poster says, it is time for change. Monkey for president. And his VP is gonna to be Toucan. Monkey says, it's time for Lion to go. The king is sneaky and as slippery as a rotten banana peel. He said we could all swim in his pool and now we can't. Under my leadership, everything will be different and we will build burrows and homes for everyone. No more lies, monkey for president. Oh, and then here's Snake's poster. Snake's poster says she doesn't just promise, she delivers. Snake for president. And her vice president is gonna be Mouse. I am a popular snake. I grew up in the jungle with all of you. I crawled through burrows and nests getting to know you. We have faced the great drought together and we have survived fires and hunters. You know I will be there for you. Vote for Snake. Oh, and here's Sloth's poster. Sloth's poster says, make your vote count. Choose me, Sloth for president. And his vice president is gonna be Ladybug. My fellow animals, it is time to plan our future together. I want to hear from all of you. And please don't judge me, my, judge me by my name. I am not lazy. I don't rush because good government does not happen overnight. With patience, we will make the jungle better for everyone. Vote for sloth. So what do you guys think? Who would you vote for? 
Each candidate got busy trying to convince the voters why they would be the best leaders. They went on TV, took selfies with voters, handed out pamphlets, discussed the issues. They held rallies, said some wild things about the other candidates. They put up posters and discussed more issues. They had debates to talk about their ideas. Somebody asks, Snake, how would you solve the bird traffic jams? Snake says, easy. Every bird will be assigned a time to fly. Somebody asks, why don't we ask the birds what they think? Somebody says, who cares? Just tell those high flyers what to do. And then somebody else says, Snake is venomous. Lion says, well, nobody is better than me. Snake says, Lion is selfish. Sloth says, hey, I didn't finish what I was saying. And sometimes they all just argued. Finally, election day arrived. The animals lined up to cast their secret votes in the ballot box. So you see they're all lined up and they're gonna put their votes in the box. Owl was in charge of counting the votes. Unfortunately, Lion got disqualified for violating rule number six. Do you guys remember what rule number six was? Let's go back and look real quick. Rule number six, candidates cannot trade gifts for votes. So he was giving peanuts to people who said that they were gonna vote for him. That breaks the rules. When the votes were added up, the new president was announced. It was, who do you think won? <gasps> Sloth. The animals all gathered to hear Sloth's victory speech. And this election, I learned so much from everybody. We each have something to say, and we all should listen. Lion wants to be recognized for all his work. Monkey wants us to have food and shelter. Snake and I agree, we are stronger when we work together. The first thing I will do as president is to create a team to help us make the jungle a great place for every animal. That sounds really nice. And that is the story of how Sloth became the jungle's first president. Of course, not everyone was happy with the election results, so it was a good thing that there would be another election next year. The end. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed and you learned a little bit about how an election works. So have a great day. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.